Hey guys, it's the Soul Cloth here, and today in this monster analysis video, I'm going to be going over Pangoliath, and we're going to be just telling you whether or not he is good to get out of the current breeding event. So let's go ahead and get right into it. All right, so Pangoliath is the main monster inside of this breeding event, and he is a tank, and then his traits are Megaton at rank zero. He also has Harden at rank one and Top at rank three. So Megaton at rank zero is amazing. That is the best trait a tank can have. And yeah, having it at rank zero without even needing to rank him up is amazing. And it is not a status caster. It is permanent, which is great. And then Harden and Tough are okay as well. And then his relics are armor and amulet, which are both very good. And then if we go on down to his pros and cons, he has an absurd trait, amazing life and relics, decent tanking abilities and damage mirror and shields, which are both amazing. He also has access to stun, and his cons are no sustainability outside of shields, and fairly dull move pool. And if we go on down to his moves, we can see that you can pick between a 50% life shield with a 50% damage mirror, which is very good. Or you can pick a self 100% damage mirror, which is pretty cool. And then you can also use a stun and daze, you can use a self 50% shield with zero cooldown, which is cool. And then a self 30% shield with a mega taunt if you need to reapply it. Like if they have trade disable or something like that, which is very cool. So yeah, he does have a pretty great move set. Out of these two moves, I would probably go with the 100% damage mirror just because he does already have shield moves and he actually already has a 50% shield, which is exactly what this one gives. So I'd probably go with the 100% damage mirror. But yeah, it's pretty much personal preference. So this monster is very, very good. Armor and amulet are great relics. They can give him even more armor. You can choose an amulet that can give you stamina back, which is really cool. And yeah, it's great traits, amazing traits. You only really have to get him to rank zero. You don't even have to rank up this monster for him to be at his like peak performance, which is very good. So yeah, go and get this monster. You don't even need to rank him up. You can use an armor and an amulet and it'll be amazing. And then just use these moves. And yeah, he's a great tank to have on your team or to use in wars or to pretty much use in anything. He's just really good. So yeah, that is going to be for this video. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think of Pangoliath though. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Over to like, share, and subscribe. Goodbye.